In this video, we'll show you the steps to clean and disinfect your eyelash extension tweezers. It's a super important step to prevent cross-contamination between clients. Since your tweezers make contact with your client's eye area, sometimes their tears or other eye mucus, you really don't want that to transfer to your next client. We want to allot at least 20 minutes between each appointment to do all these steps. You always want to make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before a new task to prevent further contamination. Make sure you lather the soap in between your fingers, the fingertips, and rub all sides of your hands. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. The first step is to clean your tweezers with soap to remove all the obvious debris. There is many ways to do this. One way is to use your fingers. Make sure to rub thoroughly and get every part of the tweezers. Of course, because tweezers are so sharp, remember to be super careful to avoid being poked. Another way to clean your tweezers is with a small brush with thick bristles like this one. This works well for scrubbing the tweezers without damaging them. These bristles are very effective because it really gets in between the tweezers and removes any surface debris that might be stuck on the tweezers. You can also use a makeup sponge to do this. Sponges are flexible, so it's easier to maneuver around. I prefer using a smaller sponge to make sure that it can fit comfortably in between the opening of the tweezers. And here's something you already have. You can also use a lash spoolie as a cleaning brush for your tweezers. These spoolies work so well because the bristles are firm enough to scrub the tweezers without ruining them. The lash spoolies are actually the perfect size for getting in between the tweezers too. You can also use them as disposables or one-time use every time you clean tweezers to keep things more hygienic. Now that they're all cleaned, they're ready for the next step. Here, we're using Barbicide to disinfect our tweezers. When choosing your chemical, be sure to double check with your local state requirements to see if it's approved in your area. Barbicide comes in a concentrate form, so you'll need a measuring cup. I like to mark my measuring cup with a sharpie, so I don't have to remeasure the barbicide to water ratio every single time. The benefit of using a concentrate formula is that one bottle goes a really long way, and it also doesn't take up too much shelf space. So now, you just simply mix the barbicide with water. And now your disinfectant solution is ready to use. We recommend using this disinfectant tray. It's great for cleaning our lash tweezers, and you use a lot less disinfectant liquid because of its design. It has a removable tray with holes to easily drain out liquids and to rinse your tweezers. 
Carefully put your tweezers in the tray and make sure they're placed side by side and not bundled up together. Then you're going to pour the barbicide solution into the tray. Close the lid, let it soak and set a timer for 10 minutes. Something lash artists forget about is disinfecting the protective covers for your tweezers. To do this, take a small container cup, using isopropyl alcohol, pour just enough into the small cup to soak the protective covers completely. And then you want to just let it sit for a few minutes. Set up a clean paper towel on the side of the sink for the covers to dry off. And now you're going to rinse them off a few times with water. You want to keep rinsing and draining them to make sure that all the alcohol is removed. When you're done, just place them onto the paper towel that you set up earlier. This disinfectant tray allows you to remove the inner section without touching the chemicals at all. Then simply rinse your tweezers under water. You want to thoroughly rinse under tap water until there's no more residue. Once you're done, set your tweezers on top of a clean paper towel to dry. Again, just use a clean paper towel to clean off each tweezer. Make sure you dry off the inner parts of the tweezer thoroughly. You can do this by placing the paper towel in between the tweezers and gently rubbing the tweezer against the paper. Try to be as thorough as possible when drying off the tweezers to prevent any water buildup or staining. You can also fold the paper towel a few times for it to fit more snug in between the tweezers. Before storing your tweezers, make sure that your protective tweezer covers are completely dry. You don't want to have any water left on it just because water can actually attract bacteria over time. Once it's completely dry, put the protective covers back onto the tweezers. This is so important because it protects the tips of your tweezers from other contaminants and from damage just in case you end up dropping them. The best way to store your tweezers is in a holder that separates each tweezer individually. This makes sure that they do not touch or scratch one another. And now you can set aside your disinfectant tray for your next appointment. One barbicide mixture is good to use for an entire lash day.